we don't need uh, the reciprocating saw, that's for sure. Well dropped. There's the old tray, which has been doing its job all these years, but once this lintel gets replaced, this window gets replaced, it's been damaged. And good morning, it is Monday, new week, new day. Uh, same old, same old. Today we're doing, we're back at an existing job that we used to do. Today we're back at a job we've been at before. As you can see, there's the lintels we've done and we're moving on to the next one. So you can see how awfully shaped it is right now. It's got a smiley face in and it's in dire need of saving. So we were, we've dropped all the stuff off here a few days ago. So the scaffold set up, all the tools are being brought out now. The lintel is here with the trim ready and we've got plenty of bricks because as you can see some of them want replacing it in general so yeah so we're gonna get this tackled as soon as we can and get finished as quick as we can and obviously every time we do our little jobs we have our tools of the trade the Bosch the Bosch professional heavy duty recipo with uh, our brick blades which tell you what they don't have to do the job especially for soft mortar like this just cuts through like butter and our other one just in case all else all else fails we've got our classic titan so that's all we need and i think in the van we've got the mini angle grinder just to grind out and do a bit of repointing if need be because obviously as you can see it's a bit spotty all over the place so yeah that's the plan like I said before as well, once the scaffold's down and we're cleaning up, I'm going to uh, just replace them bricks. They just need a bit of a fix up as well, so that's it, we've got our power. I'm going to go get the mixer and the rest of the stuff and I'll get Dad set up, so oh. yeah, I will come back to you when we're ready. Right, well I'm, well, I'm up here now, I'm sure Alex has done all the bump already. Um, yeah, there used to be a carport here. We don't need uh, the reciprocating saw, that's for sure. Well dropped. So we're going to take these three out. Two is easy, but then you're struggling to, to to get it your cavity tray. You want a bit of extra room. So for the sake of an extra eight bricks, you just take it, take three courses out. Gives you plenty of room to work at then. So um, yeah, I'll start getting these out. That's going. That's knackered. That's going. The hole in it. That's going. And probably that one as well. Maybe even that one if we've got enough bricks. So um, yeah, let's get these down and. Open it up and have a look. Right, I decided to give a give it a quick cover up since we forgot the uh, what did we forget step ladders and dust sheets. sheets. So we've made a rudimentary cover for the window. Um, that one, when we were doing the uh, carport above that, we sm actually smashed the bottom pane. So that had to be replaced. That took a big lump out of the profits for that day. So we don't want to risk that, and we don't want to risk much damaging these dark frames either. That horrible trim there on the angle like that. It doesn't look right, but that's the only way you can do it without covering the lintel and the wheat vents. It's got to go under the lintel, so at least these two will match. So yeah, uh, no power tools needed. I'm going to whip this out now and get these pro get these acros up and under and get this this lintel put in. Catch you in a bit.
All right, make this quick. Right, we're mostly out, got an acre under this bit. Not much to prop up here, really. A few cracks, we're gonna grind this out and repoint this section. There's the old tray, which has been doing its job all these years, but once this lintel gets replaced, this window gets replaced, it's been damaged. So basically any water does come down here, it's gonna hit the, hit the tray. It's not gonna go anywhere, because it's going uphill there. It's gonna gather down here, work its way down the side of the frame there and pop into the kitchen. But it, it's cut off the edge of the frame, so there's nowhere for the water to go but top of the frame and then down the sides. Just a bit of foaming. Foam holding the bricks up with a trim underneath. This is why it needs a proper lintel. So our tray is going to be nailed onto these block at the top and then sealed across the top. Coming down onto, on top of our new lintel, which will be on this level. So we're going to have this gap here. So we're going to, uh, we're going to pack it up to stick our trim across and we're going to put insulation in that in that little gap. Well, it's a little gap, it's a big gap, so we're going to insulate it. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much to come out now. The rest of this, 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 and this, I think I'll take that out as well. That's a bit, that's just going to rust and blow up. So we might as well take that out while we're, while we're here. Yeah, not, not taking much to get it out really. Obviously my job stands on the cleaner for today. Yeah. There's the insulation. There's actually none here. In this section here, there's none at all. Nothing up there. But it's in the pike anyway. You don't have to insulate the pike unless it's a dorm, which is like obviously a room upstairs. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's the insulation we put in to stop anything dropping down. So I'm going to push that back up with another piece of insulation. Get the rest of these out and probably go for a break. Hey, voila! I've got, here's another pit part of the tray that I didn't show you. Look at that. Just, where's that supposed to go? It goes to nowhere. So that goes straight into the PM, into the brickwork. Same here. What's that supposed to be doing? Bit of a joke, really. So, as I said, Lintel's going on here, so we're going to have a gap here. Because we've got to raise it up to the nearest course. So, what I'm going to do now is, while Alex gets a mix in, I'm going to get, I've got the mini grinder set up ready. Well, I want to plug in. Oh, I'll, I'll just need the electric to do this grinding. Do the mix first. Yep, yeah, sorry, once Alex has done the mix. Oh, yes, please. Uh, coffee, milk, no sugar, please. Uh, just one more, thank you. Thank you. That was a lovely customer just offering us a brew. Yeah, um, once Alex has done the mix, I'm going to get on the grinder and some of this is really cracked, so... I'm going to get this ground back up to about there, so there's no water getting back in. Um, and then that's getting bedded back on, which is here. And then we're ready for the lintel to go in, which is down there, just behind the bins. 
is all our bricks. We brought extra bricks because a lot of roof ones come out of here. And yeah, that's it. Get it all back in as usual. So um see you in a bit. Oh yes. Bruise arrived. Uh, mix is done, electric's back up, so time for this. Cavity tray is cut, it's gonna have an upstand there. It's gonna have an upstand there. So I'm gonna get this grinding done now. Sorry, I'm gonna get this grinding done now. And then we're gonna get crack on with the lintel. I think I'm gonna leave this leave this be. Because some people say some of these have asbestos in, so I'm just gonna prop it in. It does it's not doing any make it's not doing any harm where it is. We're coming over the top of that. So um yeah, we'll leave it as useless as it is. Look at the state of that. Chocolate teapot. Yeah, anyway, let's crack on. Sections all ground out. Just a quick one here. This crack isn't caused by settlement. This crack is caused by rusty tie wire. As you can see there, rusting away and blowing, so it's lifting the brickwork. And that's going to be protected once we've gone back a good 15 mil to get this jointed up, pointed up. So the next stage is cavity tray. So I'll just ask my, ask my glamorous assistant to jump me up on the scale, please. Get this thing in. Oh, 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 oh,
I switched itself off. Hi. Right, we're back after lunch. I don't know when the GoPro switched itself off, but we left it running over lunch, so it wasn't filming much. You won't know that because that'll be edited out by now. So yeah, great works across. Just got the top bed to fill back in and this bit of pointing to do. Found this little diffuser bottle on the um, on the drive, so just give it all the damp down without losing the brickwork below. You can hose it down, obviously we can't do that because we've done the lint below. Just dampen it down so it doesn't go too quick. Let's see how quick that dries.
Alex is just knocking a couple of rubber bricks out below, which isn't on the job. It's just a ropey patch job and it's not part of our job, but Alex decided while we're here, get it done, which is, why not? So yeah, just once this is all damped down, I'm going to get it pointed and then we'll get this, this, this top head pointed. How are we now? Uh, 
Quarter past two. Quarter past two, that's good. There you go, there's a new lintel. Got insulation back here, and this is a piece of fascia board. Pinch from Andy across the road, just taking a roof off. So it's all packed up. So that's nice and solid. It's packed up there, there's insulation behind it, and then this board, this trim, is going over it. And again, it's going to have to go on an angle like that one. That's just the way it is. It's got to go under the lintel. It can't go over the lintel. Otherwise, it's trapping the moisture inside there. And that's, that's a big problem that a lot of people don't realise. So yeah, you've seen it all getting done on time lapse, so I'm just going to get this trim done. I'll just get the whole place tidied up. Then uh, we'll have to get some bricks either tonight or tomorrow morning for our next job. Which is three lintel jobs, big lintels with um, proper dodgy brickwork over it, which dropped. So they could have lintels in, they might, have, not, might not have, but the brickwork's dropped. Uh, they're, they're a discontinued brick. So rather than trying to match the bricks, we're going to take the soldiers out, replace the soldiers with the red engineering bricks like a feature, with the creasing tile on top, and then we'll have spare bricks out for patching the broken bricks. Um, so that's, that's tomorrow's job. So I'll just stick you back on time lapse while I get this trim sorted out and get uh, well, let's get it tidied up. That's how it's done. Trim's in, bricks are in. Well, it's, it's, it's all done, so. There you go, that's another lintel job. That's another lintel job done. Three done on this house alone. And also, just a little bit of patching here, just to fix up some cracked bricks and just still look horrible, so. Looks better than it did, at least. And, yeah, it's all silicon in and sealed. Got your wheat vents in there. Let's close you in. There you go, so you can't tell us off. And then, got our tray, got the trim. Bish bash bosh, jobs are good. So, that's another lintel job ticked off. Thank you very much for watching, we hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment because that's always greatly appreciated. And if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell because again, that's a massive part of the channel and we greatly appreciate it. So, that's been it for this job. This has been Steve and Alex signing off. Have a great time. Stay safe and we'll catch you in the next one.